and we are going to discuss on scientific research writing and patent filing on behalf of uh, dada pat kazare art science and commerce college i welcome all of you uh, my colleague and my friend dr atul kumar saurpagar uh, who is a organizing uh, uh, member of this webinar he is a very enthusiastic person and uh, he uh, told my principal and me about this webinar uh, we are very pleased to know that because uh, as a coordinator of ipc it is very uh, big achievement to uh, do mou with different institutions uh, affiliated to different universities and uh, the subject is also very uh, uh, very great um, for the uh, the patent writing is very difficult subject and uh, he has chosen this subject is very uh, crucial for the assessment and accreditation of the nac i am sure that we will have fruitful and rewarding exchanges in this webinar i wish success and i wish uh, uh, the uh, webinar will be uh, very uh, a fruitful and i look forward to learning outcome of the webinar will definitely uh, uh, will uh, so uh, i welcome all of you once again and before i take leave i would like to remind you and especially our moderators to stick to our time schedule and not to let any session overrun i sincerely hope you will enjoy today's debate and networking thank you for participation uh, once again i would like to welcome all of you and thank you uh, thank you uh, professor rajiv bolu for your kind words uh, and welcome to all uh, dignitaries and the participants now i request uh, Dr. Santosh Rangkham sir, convener of this uh, national webinar, head of department, late Ramesh Varkudkar, Arts, Commerce and Science College, Sonpet, District, Parbani, to introduce our chief guest, Dr. Santosh Rangkham. Hello. Uh, good morning. Hello. Uh, uh, good morning, all of you. गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू इट्स अ ग्रेट प्रेजर फॉर मी यू इंट्रोड्यूस अवर संतोष सर सर प्लीज वीडियो यस यस good morning all of you it's a great pleasure for me to introduce our speaker uh, dr gk kulkarni sir respected sir is a my teacher and research guide and today is a international teacher day so uh, i wish you happy teacher day mm, to him and all of you so uh, he is a chief guest of today's national webinar and i am going to introduce him with you Dr. G. K. Kulkarni, M.Sc. Ph.D. Sigma L.M. L.1, U.S.A. is the former professor and head of geology department of Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Marathwada University, Aurangabad. He had 35 years of research experience with specialization in animal physiology and endocrinology, ecology and environmental biology. For 31 years, taught comparative animal physiology and endocrinology. eco biology eco toxicology and environmental physiology cytology and biochemistry his other academic career include a real teacher award from lions international uh, uh, in 5 september 2001 mm -hmm. 
कांग्रेस ऑफ जुलॉजी गोल्ड मेडल फ्रॉम जुलॉजिकल सोसाइटी ऑफ इन डिसेंबर 2002 डॉक्टर जे एस दत्ता मुंशी गोल्ड मेडल फ्रॉम जुलॉजिकल सोसाइटी ऑफ इंडिया इन ऑक्टोबर 2005 एंड इंडियन एकेडमी ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल साइंस साइंसेस गोल्ड मेडल इन सेप्टेंबर 2009 I won gold medal from CSJM Kanpur University in 2019 for outstanding work in zoology and environmental science. He is a recognized guide for PhD degree in the subjects uh, zoology, environmental science, and interdisciplinary sciences. Thirty students obtained PhD degree under his guidance on various aspects of physiology, ecology, toxicology. and endocrinology using annelid fish and crustacean models he has published individually and jointly more than 130 research papers in various peer reviewed journals he has edited 18 books and written many scientific popular articles he has completed eight major research projects uh, funded by ugc csir bst and ministry of environment and forest and new delhi he has traveled widely in connection with international conferences uh, and uh, research work he was a visiting scientist in the department of ecology evolution and organismal biology uh, tulen university new orleans usa from 1984 to 1986 and 1990 to 1992 under nsf and bard grants of usa he was a visiting fellow in the department of biology and ecology of university of uh, southern california uh, los angeles usa and duke university uh, before nc uh, usa during 1987 to 88 and worked on various aspects of marine biofouling and anti fouling agents he is on the editorial board of more than 10 national level scientific journals like members of more than 9 national level scientific societies and uh, examiner msc degree mp uh, degree for more than 30 indian city uh, elected president of section of animal veterinary and fishery science of 97th uh, indian science congress held in uh, 2010 at kerala university uh, tiruvanthapuram currently is associated with, with cife mumbai as a visiting faculty uh, so i am uh, now stop to his introduction uh, we uh, thank you uh thank you uh, dr santosh rangham sir for uh, introducing our uh, today chief guest and inaugurator of this uh, national webinar now i request uh, professor dr g k kulkarni sir uh, today chief guest and vice president all india uh, zoological society of india let us have both gaya and former professor and head department of zoology dr baba saheb ambedkar marathwada university uh for for your view i welcome dr g k kulkarni sir thank you am i audible to you all yes sir yes sir you are audible sir. good thank you uh, dr satputhi ji principal orpurkar college uh, sonpet dr patupe principal kalika devi college shirur डॉक्टर टेमकर प्रिंसिपल राजौरी कॉलेज आदिनाथ नगर इनवाइटेड स्पीकर्स डॉक्टर शिवरा डॉक्टर थोरे इट्स अ ग्रेट प्लेजर टू मीट एवरी वन ऑन दिस ओकेजन एट द आउटसेट आई शुड नॉट फॉरगेट टू थैंक डॉक्टर दत्तारण खान डॉक्टर अतुल सौर पगार डॉक्टर तनवीर पठान फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मीट यू ऑल Uh, i am very glad to tell you that during this uh, uh, new start of the life in the post corona era this is my first lecture i am giving to you first time giving 
for an academic purpose because this is the new life started now once again those particularly the ones who are aged one senior citizens who survived over the pandemic they are uh, enjoying academic once again i also appreciate uh, president member council members of our respective colleges for standing behind the organizers and giving this opportunity to start academic afresh efforts taken by the conveners and persuasion done by the tarun kam atul saur pagar and uh, tanvir pathan really you deserve the appreciation keep it up i know that you are very busy during pandemic also you were organizing the seminars i was uh, always observing these all activities i am glad it is the two way sword even though i am your teacher but teacher also feels proud to have the notable students like you so all the best for future uh i am very glad to see that the topic what you have selected today me probably i am tired of all the words scientific uh, paper writing and uh, patent filing i am not sure this was a period when 2004 to 2006 when i was head of department this idea mooted from the biochemistry department from where now dr virali will be speaking myself and dr kasole sir we sat together and try to include this chapter particularly on the scientific research writing and patent filing it should be taught to the msc students before they appear for msc degree and i am glad ever since that time it is still going on and now you have started organizing webinars on that keep it up don't stop here only because this is a very uh a hot topic of the contemporary importance and uh, i wish it should be continue now science writing is why it's so important because and why we are lagging behind the main thing why we are lagging behind in the scientific writing is in the mind we do lot of experiments but we cannot write it so now i suggest whatever you do how small things you are doing or how small thing it is coming to your mind please put it on the paper and write it writing is very important and once you write it definitely will try to see that it will be published on some kind of electronic media print media or somewhere now remove the fear from the mind go on writing and let others criticize it let other appreciate it or let other point out the flaws in it whenever such a response they come from the society from the scientific society it improves the quality of your writing and when it improves the quality of your writing the credit goes to you at the international level usually uh, some problem comes in the mind that what should i write scientifically what should i write there are many aspects to write down we write the thesis okay it's not the pie of everybody but we write thesis research papers project reports project grants reviews book chapters book reviews evaluation report when you become the examiner you have to write the evaluation report of the phd student science critics popular articles in the local newspapers that is for mass communication you can write the science fictions based on the scientific facts so this is a uh, wide scope to write but the only thing is we must start now writing once you start writing doesn't matter how small is your experiment because writing ends at the ends 
at publication and publication ends at recognition. How actually scientific writing based on only on three basic things. Let me make it very clear. One, when you're doing the experiment or you're not doing experiment, observation is very important. Once you do the observation, then experimentation is very important. And when the results are ready, interpretation is equally important. Observation, experimentation, and interpretation. And for this, a very deep, novel, healthy thinking is required. Now, when we, we write, I'm talking about writing. Very often I'm pressing on writing. Writing should be of the quality in nature. Nowadays, what's happening? During the pandemic, a lot of publications I have seen which have been published in international journals, online, which we call the e-journals. If you yourself go through them and see the quality of those papers. Initially, these e-journals did not charge anything to the contributor because they were to establish, but thereafter they started charging. That means a good journal, which I think the quality has become a paid journal, in which quality has been deteriorated and it's not going to help anymore. So you have to publish the paper, you have to write a very correct scientific language to get paper published in a good quality journal, particularly the journal in which your papers are reviewed. They, these papers should be reviewed by the peer reviewers. You must have the comments from them, must have the corrections from them. And when you incorporate, it becomes a jewel that your article will become a gem. And once one article, which is a gem comes out, you may get recognition internationally, not necessarily to have 100 papers. Reason is uh, every five years, nowadays every college perhaps, has to go for some kind of assessment. This assessment we very uh, popularly know as the NAC assessment. And once NAC assessment comes, what to present, what to be told, how graceful we can come out. And NAC assessment, of my experience, whenever I have gone on that committee, we have seen the basic where flaws are seen. Those flaws are getting the grant, completing the projects, and quality publication. Those who got these three, they have got a good grade. So it's very important. We have the writing, quality publication, and then what is the hindrance in having the quality publication? The main hindrance behind that, you do not know the procedure. Who do not know the methodology. Who do not think about what kind of title should be selected. What should be included in the methods and met uh, or methods and methodology. How the results are to be presented. How interpretation should be done and how conclusion to be drawn. I'm glad these are all aspects going to be covered now today by Professor Vandana Yurari in detail. I'm not going in detail for that. Thereafter, the filing of patent comes. And each college is also having IQAC cell. What is the purpose of that? To help you, to help everyone to get a good quality publication, to get a good quality writing, to get a good quality uh, outcome from even research projects. Have you any time thought that research project which you have completed should be come out in the form of a book? Book publishers are not accepting those because we are not clear with the conclusions. 
come out with the good conclusion of your research project, definitely a good publisher will come to you. And let me tell you, Marave Pari Pustak Rupe Varave. Once you publish good books, you edit good books with a good authors in that, your name will be always there in the literature. So have a good publication with uh, peer review journals, peer review um, international journals, and a good books. No, it doesn't matter if you're 200, 300 pages, no, just 100 pages. But quality is very, very important in it. Now, this is all about uh, the today's topic. And uh, I'm very glad uh, I'm seeing here now 97, 47, 98 participants have joined. There are more than 300 participants have registered for this. It's a very good response because whatever or whatever messages are given by the organizers are certainly going to go to all the three, 400 participants and they will take this message for their future. I want to bring uh, a small presentation for you. This is a scientifically based publication uh, presentation. Why I have selected this is one reason. As I told you earlier, observation is very important in, the, in any biological research. And if you observe, I do not know how many of you observed it, but if you observed, now, a cat is not much interested in eating the rat. This chapter, this topic is there in your undergraduate syllabus, but you have not paid the attention, perhaps. Hello, Professor Hivrale. That topic is microevolution. I think then, what are two? Is there a topic there? It is the topic under undergraduate. People yes, are paying attention in the microevolution. Now the one which was actually the prey is standing before the uh, one who kills them and they are resisting. Why this is happening? Because there is change in the test of the muscle, of the meat, and there are so many other things. This is the microevolution going on. I will give you a wonderful examples to my presentation. How things are changing, and we have to pay a lot of attention on it. Uh, uh, bear with me for a while. I will try my best to go for slide presentation atul yes sir help me now uh, go go through share screen sir okay share the screen uh, no this one something 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 has come out something is seen on my Green, what is this? Sir, uh, you just click the share. share screen. Where, where is the share? I'm not seeing it. Okay, wait. Uh, So, uh, where so you can see the uh, the participants. So behind this, there is a chat section and then share screen. Okay, uh, Atul. Yeah. Yes, sir. I went on share. Uh, okay, okay, share. Fine. Share. You are filing the desktop. Sir. Then I will. Okay, I yes, went sir. here. Please start. Could you see it now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Put put on uh, 
presentation mode sir okay yeah present already i am seeing a slide on my screen okay uh, put this uh, put this slide on presentation mode where is that uh, sir uh, uh, below in the right side sir please f5 sir uh, which present yeah. sir please press f5 okay f5 okay okay just thank you madam sir Uh, shall I press something for that? Shift or control? Yeah, yeah, five. No, no, there is no need to press any. Just press a five. Yeah, but it's not the working. Will... No, it's not working. Sir, there is a volume button. You just go on your uh, right side. Hmm? Yes, there is. Yes, 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 yes. Volume button. Sixty-six percent. You just yes. go above, above. No, 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 sir. You just. Uh, Press above, above. No, no. So, what should I? Uh, no. You just press again the volume button. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, again press volume button. Okay. Ah, uh, then you just see that uh, minus volume button. You get the sixty percent, and then uh, one button. No, no. We. Uh, you just. सर अलीकड़ थोड़ा सा अलीकड़ सर 66% है ना उसके बाद जो तीन हां ये तीन हां सही है सही है सही है यस यस सर प्रेस करा पर चला ओके सर यस सर यू कैन प्रेजेंट दिस इज टू लार्ज नो ओके प्रेस आई विल गो फॉर प्रेजेंटेशन Okay, sir. Okay, for all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can start. Yes, sir. Uh, I think I have. Okay, fine. Now, when I was talking about, uh, is it uh, audible to you? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Yes. When I was talking about the micro evolution, this is what we are now going to talk about. That uh, whether do animals have developed the sixth sense? very important now we have, we have we have to think about this why i am talking about this because these are some of the disasters which we are seeing nowadays like earthquake flood cyclone high tide of the seas tsunami drought famine volcanic eruptions cloud etc and many of the animals are uh one minute because there is something going wrong with me there is one i have to reduce uh, i have to reduce the size of this uh is it now can okay no can i reduce the size of the um, size of the slide no sir it is uh, time consuming no You okay fine let, let's go yes. now i will finish in 5 minutes yes if you see the advance of for rain then the observation is like this a small and black ant starts ca carrying their eggs towards the upland frogs start their famous call domestic fowls and birds they start playing with the dust and the water drops in the in the sky if you see the advance warning for the rain elephants raise their proboscis prehensile proboscis and they start moving very fast even the sky is clear but some of the birds particularly found in the tibet and darjeeling area they start moving very fast towards their caves and mountain rocks they give indication that there something is going to come this is disastrous if a white pigeon starts flying very high in the sky in a row it's indication of the rain it's also indication of row or the south american spider elia 
destroyed its own web when it feels that there is a heavy is going to come a heavy rain. Poultry farm, egg laying by hens passed drastically in three to four days prior to the earthquake. So these are the indications for the earthquakes. Japanese bird, North Kijiwi, desert their homes, they leave their homes one day prior to the earthquake. Whereas the another bird, they kills their own young ones. Deep sea fishes, they start coming to the sea surface. Snakes in the mass come out of their burrows if there is a possibility of earthquake. Domestic pigeons start coming late in their nests. Just before the earthquake, pigs start biting each other and killing each other. Cats become afraid and nervous and become out of their come out of their burrows in the mass. And at that time, they are very easily killed. And more importantly, the honeybees they live their lives. When the northern cockchafer district of Assam and Mizoram, people witness the very yellow vital colors, the flower in the bamboo, they feel that there's going to come a famine, shortage of food. If the parrot starts giving harsh calls, something bad is likely to come. And during the World War, first in Paris, they will use for warning against the enemies. People of Japan keep this variety of fishes in their house aquarium. We start jumping in an erratic manner before the earthquake. You must have read this one on 5th of May 2009. Chinese experience, thousands and thousands of rocks have come out of the burrows when there was no rain burrows and they cross the road like this. And this was the indication of the earthquake. And really there was an earthquake where more than 10,000 people died. Fishes lay their eggs at the sea when they are sure that there is going to be an next high tide. So they sense the changes in the tidal pattern. Monkeys start fasting before ensuing if their eclipse is going to come. They sense there is an eclipse. In Japan, there is one fish which changes its color like a palotis. If it changes color red, rain is likely to come. If it's white, then it's going to be a hot weather. If it changes color to the green, it's going to be a cold weather. So people of Japan keep these fishes for in their aquarium to know the environment changes weather changes. It's very interesting. One cat is known as Oscar. And the blue eyes is found in the Iceland city of Providence. When this cat visit, name is a steer nursing home, which is a rehabilitation center colony. Staff becomes nervous because whenever this visits the nursing home, at least 25. Number of visits it does, number of patients they die. So dogs, dogs are nowadays used for uh, detecting the cancer. So all, what are all these going on? As I said you earlier, these are, in my view, indications of some kind of microevolution where these animals have developed some kind of sense organs. That's the reason we always suggest animals, insects, birds, fishes, etc. are very sensitive on by observations of their behavior due to electromagnetic sixth sense ensuing natural disaster can perhaps be predicted and reduce the damage. So why I presented this to end my speech is to give an idea that exactly 
what will be the next direction in our biological sciences. If you think of this, think in the evolutionary point of view, it's going to be a great service to biological sciences. So with this, I thank uh, organizers, coordinators, participants, and everyone who has given me opportunity to talk and to meet you all. Thank you very much and best wishes. Uh, thank you, sir, for your uh, such beautiful uh, lecture, which is uh, which is for the blooming star uh, in the science also, and for us also. Uh, this is a feast, scientific feast for us. That uh, uh, your thoughts on the science and the animal behavior also. Uh, once again, I am thankful to Professor G.K. Kulkarni sir for such a nice, wonderful lecture uh, to us. And now, uh, now uh, we are starting the technical uh, with the uh, with the permission of the chair. Uh, I started the plenary session. So we divide uh, the session into two. That is a plenary session one and plenary session two. So in the first plenary session, uh, Professor Dr. Vandana Hivrani, Madam, Professor and Head, Department of Biochemistry, Dr. Bawasa Bambedkar, Marathwala University, Aurangabad, uh, she is speak on the topic scientific research writing. So, first, firstly, I I introduce Professor Vandana Hivrali, Madam. Uh, Dr. Hivrali, Vandana Hivrali, Madam, is working as a professor and head, Department of Biochemistry, Dr. Bawasa Bambedkar, Marathwala University, Aurangabad. Uh, she has uh, working on digestive enzymes of uh, Periplaneta Americana in the in the in, in, in her uh, PhD. Uh, PhD. She, she, has, uh, she is more than 20 years of teaching and uh, research experience. She has worked in many international reputed uh, institutes like Max Planck Institute for Chemical Ecology, Jena, Germany. Uh, Postdoctoral fellowship to, uh, to, in uh, 2006 to 2007. Uh, Department of uh, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, Oklahoma State University, Stillwater for a postdoctoral fellow uh, in between uh, 2013 to 2014. Um, she is working uh, research and teach uh, uh, visiting faculty at uh, Department of Bio Biochemistry, Warsaw University, Warsaw, Poland, and University of D Nova Port Portugal as a visiting faculty in 2018. Uh, she is uh, re receiving she has received the honors and award from uh, and fellowships also. Uh, Uh, she has received Erasmus Euphorets Fellowship to visit at University de Nova Porto, Portugal in 2018. Received Best Teacher Award from uh, Rotary Club of India in 2017. Received Erasmus Euphorets Fellowship to visit at Warsaw University, Warsaw, Poland in April, May uh, 2017. Uh, received Singh Obama Fellowship to work for one year at Oklahoma State University, USA, 2013 to 2014. Received postdoctoral fellowship uh, to work at Max Planck Inst uh, Institute for Chemical Ecology, Germany. Young Scientist Research Grant Award from Department of Science and Technology, New Delhi, India, in 2008. Vidyapit Shikshan uh, Prati uh, Pratiba Best Teacher Award from Department of Mass Communication, uh, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, Marathwala University, uh, Aurangabad. And uh, she has signed MOU with Oklahoma State University, USA, and uh, Warsaw University of Life Sciences, Poland in 2015 and uh, 2022. So this is a brief introduction uh, and uh, many more. So that uh, due to the time, uh, so this is a brief uh, introduction about Professor Vandana Hivrali, Madam. 
So I request Professor Vandana Hirale, Madam, to put uh, your view on the scientific writing. Uh, Professor Vandana Hirale, Madam. Am I audible? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma okay, good morning, one and all. Uh, thank you, Dr. Atul Charupagar, for giving a great introduction. Respected teacher and today's chief guest, uh, Professor Kulkarni, sir. Chief Organizing Secretary, of uh, college, uh, college and college principal, Dr. Satpute sir, Dr. Tupe sir, and Dr. Temkar sir. My friend and next speaker of this uh, uh, event, uh, Dr. Zore sir, and young enthusiastic organizing team, Dr. Rankham, Dr. Pathan, and Dr. Atul Chorpagar, and all virtually connected participants. So uh, thank you, Kulkarni sir, for giving a very good review and overview about the scientific writing. And uh, after seeing you a long, uh, a long time and reminding the, some memories when I was a student here, and I feel proud that the teachers like you and Kachole sir train us. Thank you. So thank you, sir. This is a great honor for me to be a part of this conference. And actually, I would like to thank all organizing team for inviting me here. So I also uh, agree with uh, Dr. Kulkarni, sir, on this young team, they are re really uh, deserving for appreciation. And I also like to thank the college for supporting them. So today I would like to describe regarding scientific writing. So already Kulkarni sir has covered most of the point while his inaugurating talk. Uh, scientific, scientific writing is very important, not only for the scientists, but academician and students. So everyone scientific writing is very important. So uh, already Kulkarni sir told that we are very good in doing experiment, but we are we can uh, communicating, communicating our re re result to the scientific world. So when we perform some research, so we are getting some results and those results must be communicated to the scientific world. So there are two ways of communication, either by oral presentation or by written communication. Oral presentation means uh, when you are presenting your uh, research in a seminar or conference, and written communication like a research article, you can publish as a research article, then a short communication or review article. So what is the research communication? If you see the research, uh, so research article. So research article is nothing but an essay in which you explain what you have learned after exploring uh, your topic in the depth. And in research paper, you include information, from sources such as books, articles, interviews, and some internet site. You also use your uh, opinion, knowledge, and idea. You can incorporate in the articles. So that is a research paper. So my question is, so why we need to write a paper? So writing paper, writing a paper is a skill. So, so some people will say for getting a promotion. Okay, partly it is a right. Okay, for if you want to prom, uh, you you want a promotion, you need a you need to show the publication. Some people will say that to impress the other, or to describe what you have done in your research, or to describe new uh, new things or novelty. But in real sense, research paper is to convey useful and reusable idea. Means main reason paper communicating is idea. You are communicating your idea in the scientific world. 
or to the readers so your goal will be infect the mind of readers idea is nothing but suppose if you are seeing around and you are getting an idea okay so idea you uh, you are planning the experiment and you are getting the result and that you are in the through communication through paper writing you are uh, transferring your idea into scientific world or to the readers and like and you are also infecting their mind when they read your paper they will also get some idea so idea is nothing but the virus so this virus you are infecting others and so like this that's why the reading of this communication uh, uh, this uh, publishing paper is important suppose some people is having very good idea nobel prize winning idea but they are keeping themselves they are not communicating they are not transferring to the scientific world such idea is having the zero value so this idea is meaningless so then um, suppose if you want to publish so first of all you need to say is it new and interesting idea yes it is an interesting idea is it uh, is it on current hot topic yes have you provided solution to some difficult problem yes i am having the solution for that problem are you ready to publish at this point yes i am having all the data and everything and i can publish this now so if answer of all question is yes then you can start writing manuscript so just i will go to the next slide Oh, sorry i'm struggling here okay so how to write a paper so if you are having idea you can plan an experiment you do in the uh, do experiment in the lab then write the manuscript and then communicate so miss if here is if you see around how you will get an idea if you see around you can see the problem is it an interesting problem it is unsolved problem then i wish to know how to solve here is an idea is my idea working yes my idea is working because i am working in the lab and i got the result if you are having the details about the data and result then you can write a paper and you can communicate to the uh, journal so many papers are badly written and hard to understand so even these people are having very good idea but it is not appreciated by the scientific community because of the weak writing so uh so following a simple guidelines i can dramatically improve the quality of your paper so your work will be used by if you write a good paper so that will be cited by many other scientists they can uh, uh, your that your article will be read by many readers and improve the quality of your research so journal generally so if you see the template manuscript uh, template so most of the uh, journal follow this kind of the uh, path so first will be the title then author affiliation abstract keywords introduction material and methods results tables discussion conclusion acknowledgement and references some journal they use the result and discussion together at some journal they use the result and discussion separately so this is the manual now i i want to show you the flow of miss how to write the sequence of uh, while writing how what kind of sequence you need to follow while writing the manuscript so normally this is the title in manuscript you can see in the journal title will be the first mm -hmm. but while writing the manuscript you need to start with material and methods before because this is a backward writing so not uh, if you want to start the paper writing don't start with the title first so first whatever the result you have you need to arrange all the data make a folder make a one folder for figures one folder for the tables then figure legends then all the graphs you need to do the all statistical analysis analyze the data once the your result and data set is ready then you can move towards the material and methods so material and methods uh, once you complete the material methods then you uh, shift to the result section so first of all uh, material method then write the result and follow the sequence same as what you have mentioned in material and methods and then you can move towards the discussion and conclusion 
and then at the last you can go for the introduction then abstract and the, at the last you can think about the title of the paper so once it is written your manuscript if rough draft is written then you can transform into the journal site and follow the guidelines of journal and then you can submit the manuscript this is the overall flow of uh, uh, communicating your research paper to the journal. Now I will move towards the title page. So title page, so this title page mainly consists list of authors, author affiliation, corresponding author and running title. So this title should need a catchy because uh, attract, uh, this title should attract the reader attention. So uh, uh, some, there are two types of the title. One is the descriptive title. Another one is the catchy title, or sometimes people use the hybrid title. So when descriptive means in the title, you are describing your experiment, what you have done in your manuscript. So, this, the, so these are the some uh, guidelines or for the title needs to be attention grabbing, means you, uh, your title should be a catchy. Keep it short, it should be around 150 character long. Avoid filler words like a case study of, effect of, or comparison of. Don't use question, complete sentence, phrase would be better. Don't use abbreviation, narrow the scope, be specific what is included in your manuscript. So these are the, uh, 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 so these are the some uh, guidelines for the title. So for, uh, for example, I want to show you one screenshot of one paper. So I feel that this conference is related for the zoology. Uh, most of the audience are from zoology. So that's why I thought you to take the insect related paper and show you. So, so this is the some screenshot of one paper. So here you can see the title unrevealing biochemical properties of cockroach. So in the title, you can see the, the method, which method we have used for identifying and characterizing the digestive enzyme of this insect. So uh, before the title, in the title page, first, first of all, you need to concentrate on the title, then the uh, authors. So first author, normally the person who is actually working in the lab and writing the manuscript, the, that person should be the first author. And the second, third, fourth means they are their collaborator or the working colleagues, and they are helping the first author for doing the experiment or they are helping for writing the manuscript. So you can give the, them the second, third authorship. And the last author normally uh, is your supervisor. I saw the many, peer, uh, many uh, uh, teachers, they used to put their name first. They are saying, they used to say that, okay, for promotion, we need the first author paper. But I feel that that is a wrong practices. Your student should be the first author. And if you are a senior author, you should be at the last because you are, you are representing your lab. Because several students used to come to your lab, they are getting trained and they are going outside. And if they are publishing, that for, uh, the credit uh, is go, uh, going towards your senior professor, means your guide. So means you are representing your uh, lab. So first the student should be the first author. Here you can see then once after writing the authors, authors, then you have to write the affiliation. For example, here the first you can see A. A means the this is the address of the person actually who is working in that lab. The second author having A and one means A for means earlier the person was in the first lab. And now current address, he is working in some other lab, but still he is contributing to this paper. So here we have represented here with A and 1. And then the corresponding author who is actually corresponding means sending the articles to the journal and taking a follow up. So this is the corresponding author. So uh, I have taken this uh, screenshot of our paper, which is published in Comparative Biochemistry and Physiology. Now, the, this is the abstract and keyword. While writing the manuscript, you have to put at the last when, when, uh, when you are writing the paper. So abstract, abstract and keywords. So this here you have to include what is the purpose of your work, scope, methods, and avoid the technical so acronym or abbreviation in the abstract. So a summary of the manuscript, giving the reader view of what's to come allow readers to quickly scan the large scientific literature. The abstract should be less technical than the article itself. 
often 200 to 300 words that depends upon the journal. Basically here you have to address uh, three questions in abstract. What was done? How it was done? What are the result? And just you have to raise one line conclusion. So basically these two, three points need to be covered into the abstract. The abstract should not an additional information beyond what is in the manuscript. State the principal objective and scope of the investigation. Five methods employed. Summarize the result. State principal conclusion, provide a balanced summary of what was done and found. So now I another, so one example of this, the paper, so which uh, already I have shown you the title. So here, what you have done. So here you can see after reading the abstract, element protease activity bands were detected, what was done. How it was done. So you can see some method is described here in two, three lines. So we have partially purified using gel X-ray contact free print method. So because this method is already mentioned. So this method we have used for identifying protease isoform on X-ray film. So, and then again, we have purified. Then we found some activities there. Then uh, what do you have achieved? So we have achieved this kind of serine protease kind of uh, proteases we have detected in the mid gut of this cockroach. And then here in the below, you can write the some keyword. So based keywords means when the people surfing on internet, if they put this word, your paper should appear on the screen. So that's why you have to select the keywords from your manuscript. So you have to write here some keywords. Now I will move towards the introduction. So introduction while doing the literature survey, you will get the some known information and some unknown information. So identify the knowledge gap, explain why it need to be filled and summarize the steps uh, attempt to fill the gap. How these steps attempt to fill the gap. Describe the problem. Are there any existing solution? What are their main limitations? And last para are important. What do you hope to achieve? So clearly state that problem being investigated, background that explains the problem, reason for conducting the research, summarize relevant research to provide context, state how your work differ from published work. Because if already is done, so what is the lacuna? What you want to address? So you have to be clear here. Identify the question you are answering. Briefly describe the experiment, hypothesis, research question, general experimental design and methods. So this is the brief about the introduction. These are some points you can follow while writing the introduction. So here are the, some background. So because I'm taking this paper as an example. So background, cockroach are a household paste. How many these are there? And how these cockroach can survive minus their temperature as well as extreme hot temperature. So question was why the this enzyme, this insect survive in minus condition as well as the extreme hot condition. So there must be something in the gut of this enzyme which make a resistant like TAC polymerase. So most of the people they are using TAC polymerase, this enzyme in PCR molecular biology work. But this uh, enzyme, the people they were extracted from the one uh, microorganisms. And these microorganisms, uh, uh, they have isolated form of the uh, So this bacteria is very resistant to the temperature. That's why they have isolated this enzyme from this. So then uh, we were thinking what, what kind of uh, uh, enzymes that are present in this insect gut and they are making them more resistant to the temperature as well as cold condition. This was the question. So you, you need to add this kind of question in your introduction. Just. Then again, you need to write some uh, experimental design while doing the uh, while writing the 
introduction what kind of work you have done in your experiment just a little bit experimental design here we have mentioned here we have used some method with the help of this method we are trying to identify the insect proteases and earlier this method has been used by the many authors uh, while uh, when they were studying about the enzyme digestive enzymes So once your introduction is complete, then you need to uh, move towards the material methods. But while writing the paper, you have to start your paper writing from material and methods. So material, so this is one example here. So we have taken normally, we need to use here past tense. So this material we have taken collected from such uh, lab, these uh, chemicals we, we have purchased from some chemical company then uh, this x-ray film were purchased from some shop so like this you need to write here the materials from where uh, where uh, you have taken for your experiment you need to mention here material and then the next section you need to follow the method methods experimental details so here provide the reader enough details so that they, they can understand and replicate your research because research, your method should be reproducible. Once if you have developed some method and you are saying that, you know, this, we have, with this method, we have identified the, uh, this, this type of uh, enzymes. But when the people, they are using the same method, they are not getting any results. Means that method is a fake method. Then so you need to uh, uh, communicate the result, that result should be reproducible. So explain how you studied the problem, identify the procedure you followed, order this chronologically wherever possible, explain new methodology in detail, otherwise name the method and cite previously published work. For example, some method. So Lorry's 1951, Lorry's uh, developed one method for the, uh, related uh, for protein uh, detection. So all the scientists, they know this method, but when while writing the paper, you are writing the detailed method, how you have done the experiment so that no one will read that kind of uh, method. So just you need to cite the reference for such if the method is old, but if it is a new, then you can write in detail. Okay, include the frequency of observation, what type of data were recorded, be precise in describing measurement and include errors or measurement research design limits, Past tense, normally we used to use the past tense and passive voice while writing the methods and uh, experimental details. Here one example. So the, this is the methodology part. Extraction of cockroach gut proteases and inhibitors. So here you can write here how you have dissected your insect, how you have removed the gut, where you have kept the gut, and how you have uh, prepared the extract, and after preparation, where you stored that extract, and, and what was the speed of your centrifuge while centrifuging, and then uh, how the, you have estimated protein from the gut extract, and here you have uh, here mentioned Laurie et al. 1951, because this is a known method. So that's why we have not given the details about the method here. Again, this is a one method we have described here, total gut, gut proteinase activity. How we have estimated the activity. So this is here, here you need to explain the methodology, little bit methodology how you have performed the experiment, how you have detected with the help of uh, what kind of machine you have used here. So you need to give here some little uh, methodology. So next part is the result part. So in the re result part, result should be a simple, logical, reflect methodology, methodology and factual. Don't include explanation here discuss uh, not uh, no need to add the discussion result then speculation hypothesis do not hide any data in hope of saving it for later pub later publication whatever information you have try to put into the result section if it is a excess then you can add the supplementary result supplementary data you can attach to your manuscript so these tables this is a summary of main finding presented in form of tables and figures Result not presented in tables or figures can also be mentioned in this section. Table and figure should be before the discussion. 
table and figure should stand alone. Use consistent caption style, footnote may be specific to the journal. Define abbreviation, even if they have been defined in the manuscript. So these are certain tips while writing the uh, result section. Here is some example. Here you can see the some data. So these are the images. You need to prepare one file, one folder where you can put your fig figures. Figure one, figure two, figure three. No need to write all the legends below the figures. So for this, you need to write a separate section, separate page where you can mention that these are the figure legends. And the images, images that should be the clean, uh, clear. And while scanning, you should use the highest resolution while scanning the images. So this is the gel image and you can see the legend, but here legend you need to give in a separate page. These are some data here. So graphs, you can arrange, up, do the statistical analysis. So clearly mention that what you have taken on the x-axis what you have taken on the y-axis, whether you have stati st statistically analyzed the data or not. So if, once the, your data set is ready and try to follow the same sequence, what you have mentioned in the methodology. If you have done, uh, your ex first experiment is identification of enzyme in the result section, you need to write the identity result of the identification of enzyme. The uh, sequence, what you have followed in the methodology, same sequence you have to follow while writing the results. The same, uh, then, uh, um, okay. So here, and again, statistical data, then analyze. And once the, your data set is ready. So first of all, try to write the, all the information in bullet because it is easy to write. Because uh, su suppose in result section, okay, I will uh, put the first experiment on the top and then what information basically I want to put in that, under that experiment, write the bullets. And then later on, you can elaborate or extend the uh, <laughs> that bullet. Okay, so you will get the, so this is the easy tips for writing the result section. Now, this is the most important for it is very important section of article discussion because here you get the chance to sell your data. So it is a you can write a very good story in the discussion has beginning has middle and the end beginning state the answer and summarize the main finding of your research in middle explain the answer and how it fits it with earlier published work and at the end you final conclusion. Describe what your result mean in context, what already known about the subject. So indicate how the result relate to expectation and to the literature previously cited. So describe research question. What did you find? What are the implications? What are the limitations of your studies? What are the negative findings? And how this information will be called future research. So present tense for known facts and hypothesis and past tense you can use for experiment what you have conducted. So this is about the discussion part. And in this paper, the result and discussion was together. That's why I have not uh, shown the uh, slide or so screenshot of my paper here. So this is the result and discussion part. In the result, so you can see here the some uh, result and at the same time, you, we have uh, discussed the result. Okay, so now the next, the last part is the conclusion. In the conclusion, till here how you work advances the field from present state of knowledge. Indicate importance of the work by stating implication, application and future work. State the answer of your research question, give recommendation, or you should also suggest future experiment here. Provide clear scientific justification for your work and indicate possible application and extension. So under this uh, conclusion, again, the next acknowledgement. At the last, you can list funding sources. Suppose if the student is writing, he's the first author, he can acknowledge, okay, I received fund from such and such funding agency. You can acknowledge them. If some your uh, colleague helping you uh, while writing your manuscript or doing some experiment, but you cannot afford or you cannot give him authorship, you can acknowledge him or her in this section. Thank participants study their time, commitment and participation if you are using the, taking the uh, survey kind of research. 
the author extend their sincere thanks to like this you can mention your funding agency or if someone help you uh, help you in writing the papers the last section is references now the so many software is also available if you just put the name of the journal they can arrange your paper according to the their journal instructions so whenever you draw upon previously published work you must acknowledge the source any information not from your experiment and not common knowledge should be recognized by citation reference style is dependent on journal order of references can be presented in alphabetical order or by order of presentation formatting for a special journal can be done using one of these program many program have journal style presets so some i told you that so many program is available so now uh, recently so no need to do the manual uh, referencing you can use that program also for uh, as per the journal instructions so while uh, once your manuscript is ready first of all you need to search and uh, while selecting the journal first go for their aims and scope of the journal and see whether your experimentation and your paper is suitable for this aim and scope of the journal then you can select that journal so here you can see the uh, the uh, journal page here and guide for authors are here you can download the guidelines for the authors and according to the instruction you can write the paper so here aims aims and scope of the journal so this uh, i have taken the example of comparative biochemistry and physiology so this is biochemical and molecular biology part b journal so it focuses on biochemical physiology i feel that you know the experiment which we have included in this paper that is related to the biochemistry biochemical characterization that's why we have chosen the journal for sending our manuscript to the journal so first of all you need to read the science scope of the journal and see whether your manuscript is suitable for the journal or not then you can so uh, while downloading the the uh, author instruction or guidelines so you can see there they have already mentioned that how uh, how should be your introduction materials method what should be included here so how to uh, present the statistics or statistical data then theory calculation result everything is given in the instruction to the author you need to follow then uh, again there are certain tips are there title you should the title should be concise informative then author affiliate names and affiliation how you can write your author's name how you can write the affiliation how to write the corresponding author and his address present permanent address everything information is given in author's guideline so you can just follow the guidelines and you can so because once your micro writing manuscript part is over you can think about the submission to the journal sometimes some artwork is there you need to follow all the instruction for artwork sometimes some journal ask the graphical abstract because we, uh, now the online journal they prefer to add the graphical abstract so it is a, a graphical ab uh, abstract means this is the uh, they designed to capture the attention of a wide readership online so the graphical so I, i have just taken this one graphical abstract just uh, seeing the figure you can easily understand what what should be the content of the manuscript so what is the what will be the content of this paper here the earthworm this i have taken the example of earthworm i feel that this is also then related to the zoology that's why i have selected this image so here earthworm, so this earthworm is dissected so you will get the gut extract and then gut extract used for protease enzyme detection using this gel x-ray film method so the gut is used because you have dissected first year the uh, dissected the earthworm then uh, extract is prepared and then this extract is used for protease detection and then we they here char characterize what kind of enzyme is there so characterization part is also done uh, in this experiment and then characterize all these enzymes are serine proteases because there are different proteases serine cysteine aspartate so what kind of proteases are these so these are the serine proteases means characterization part is also done and what is the usefulness of this uh, uh, characterization what characterize we can use this protease this enzyme for soil development enriching the soil so this is the means the in simple just putting the images and figures 
we have uh, shown effectively what what is the content of our manuscript what uh, what we are uh, we have written in the manuscript so with the help of this graphic presentation now uh, some review article is there so you have to follow the same but except here no need to do the some experiment just with the just uh, uh, publish literature you can use the publish literature writing the review and another the short communication if you are having a, some interesting one or two result so you don't want to stay long with that result so just publish as a short communication and uh, while publishing you need to see the impact factor journal so what is the impact factor because at least uh, this is the Impact factor means uh, uh, you are grading the journal. Just at least the impact factor is nothing but the, suppose for example, A divided by B for the year 2020. What is A? The number of times article published in, for example, if I come here, impact factor for 2020, I need to consider that the number of time article published in 2018 and 2019 were cited by the index journal during 2020 and B is the total number of citable items published by the journal in 2018 and 2019. So you're like this, you can collect, uh, uh, you, you can calculate the impact factor. So most of the times journal first page, they have already given the impact factor of that journal. So thank you. But already most of the part is covered by the Kulkarni source. So I just skip the slide and very fast and uh, I try to finish in time. Oh, it, it was a great, very nice. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. It added some more point in my lectures also now. Oh, sir, <laughs> thanks, sir. Uh, thank you, Professor Vandana uh, Hivrani, madam, for uh, such a nice uh, presentation and which is helpful for uh, us and uh, all <clears throat> participants. Uh, so any any questions related to uh, scientific research writing uh, you can chat on chat box so i convey this message to ma'am yeah or uh, they can send me the email or message also and whenever if they need some guidance i'm ready to help them yes yes ma'am okay Okay, uh, if uh, uh, no questions, you can you can mail to ma'am also related to research writing, research scientific writing, uh, personally. Okay, now I request uh, uh, to, uh, this uh, plenary session first chairperson, Principal Dr. V.D. Satpudi sir, Principal late Ramesh Varpudkar Arts, Commerce and Science College, Sonpet District, Parbani to uh, uh, remark about this session. Okay. Am I audible, Otto? Yes, sir. Yes. You are okay. audible. Uh, Namaskar to one and all. Uh, being one of the organizers, I welcome you all uh, in this national <clears throat> webinar on scientific research writing and patent, fi patent filing. Organized under this uh, MOU between the departments of zoology of my college and Dada Patil Rajli College, Ajinath Nagar, as well as the Kalika Devi uh, College, Sirur Kasa. At the very outset, I thank you all the patrons of these three colleges, prominently Honorable Sri Parmeshwarao Ji Kadam Sahib, Sri Jayadat Anna Sirsagar Sir, and Honorable Sri Appa Sahib Rajre Kaka for granting us to tie uh, these three colleges into one knot in the form of the MOU. On this occasion, I take this opportunity to thank and congratulate the chief organizing principals, that is Principal S. Ketupe, sir, from Kalika Devi College, Sri Rupasar. Then we have Dr. R.J. Temkar, Principal of the Dada Patil Rajali College, uh, for taking this uh, initiative to organize this activity in collaboration. Uh, with these three colleges. Of course, I also congratulate uh, to all these conveners of this uh, webinar, uh, Dr. S. V. Rankham, my colleague, Dr. T. S. Patansar, and uh, uh, Dr. Atul Chorpagar for making this MOU active uh, by the organization of this maiden activity at the national level. 
Uh, I welcome and thank you the resource person of this today's session, uh, Dr. Vandana Hivrali, ma'am, uh, who delivered her talk on the scientific research writing. Uh, ma'am, really, this was an eye-opening talk uh, for the academic fraternity, no doubt. You have very precisely uh, put all the details regarding the ideal research writing, and you explained all the stages through which a good researcher has to go for having the expected results of the research. No doubt that this talk will inspire the new researchers to undertake uh, the research projects by following the desired methods. With the advent of the various e-resources, e-books and e Wikipedia and other resources, it has become very easy to write the research articles on any topic, no doubt. Hence, there is no dearth of research writing in India. But unfortunately, we do not have the quality research work. And therefore, organization of the such type of uh, webinars on how to write the research paper was a very mandatory one and very essential one. It is expected that every research must contribute to the uh, previous work so that the previous one will get modified and we will have a new work. But it doesn't happen in most of the cases. Most of the research papers claim that they have the peer review system. In the early talk of the Mr. Uh, inaugurator of this uh, webinar, G.K. Kulkarni sir has rightly pointed out uh, that most of the peer review uh, teams are only for the namesake and they doesn't do anything such type of peer review work, etc. I just concerned. Means they don't do in the right perspective. If the peer team does perform its work, certainly the uh, good sort of research papers will come out. And of course, uh, we have to maintain the ethics in the publishing a research work. Uh, the ethics like the honesty, it may be the integrity, objectivity, the carefulness, and the respect for, uh, for the IPR, that is the intellectual property rights. Uh, most of the time, we have to maintain the confidentiality, that legality, and of course, the very important topic, that is the uh, plagiarism should have been avoided at all. Uh, the very objective of this, uh, uh, activity behind uh, very objective behind any research uh, is its utility for the society of course and the solution to a particular problem and the development of that particular field it is a, a good sign that in these days many universities have given directions to the rrc committees uh, that the research work must be a problem based and uh, rrc should uh, take care of it uh, very few researchers follow the very structure of the manuscript uh, the Vandana Hivrali ma'am has rightly pointed out and rightly given the uh, very uh, format of that manuscript of the research paper. That is the, in the beginning, there should be the abstract, the keywords, then introduction, uh, the various research methods, then we have the results, then we, there should be a discussion or the analysis, uh, conclusion, and of course, whatever we have followed the material or the taken the source from, uh, that should have been acknowledged in the form of the references, etc. I just concerned. See, also in the end, uh, talked about having the impact factor of a uh, journal, etc. I just concerned. So uh, I thank you both the persons, G.K. Kulkarni sir, very wonderfully delivered uh, his inaugural address, as well as uh, the Hivrali ma'am uh, has uh, definitely uh, opened the eyes of the uh, new researchers and they will certainly inspire from this talk and will definitely create a new research work, is just concerned. I also thank uh, Atul uh, for organizing a wonderful this activity. Uh, but let me tell you very frankly, Atul, that you are not true to your surname. You are not sure Pagar, but you deserve the Pagar, that is the salary. Okay, uh, just jokes apart. Uh, very nicely, very wonderfully, you are conducting this program. Uh, thank you for providing me an opportunity uh, to uh, just uh, uh, sum up this session. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, yes, over. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you, Principal Dr. V.D. Sarputi, sir, for your uh, such a kind uh, word about uh, the, this session and also the guidance to uh, the blooming star uh, in the in the scientific uh, to write a scientific manners. Thank you for uh, your session remark uh, about uh, scientific research writing. Now, uh, with uh, with permission of the chair, I I. I go for plenary session two, uh, that is uh, on topic patent filing, which is a very much uh, important topic, which is uh, given by Dr. Gajanan Jhore, sir, who is the director, MDCRL, 
कोविड नाइनटीन टेस्टिंग लैब स्वामी रामानंद तीर्थ मराठवाड़ा यूनिवर्सिटी नांदेड़ महाराष्ट्र इंडिया सो बिफोर स्टार्ट दिस सेशन आई ब्रीफली इंट्रोड्यूस टू डॉक्टर गजानंद होरे सर डॉक्टर गजानंद होरे सर वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन स्कूल ऑफ लाइफ साइंसेस स्वामी रामानंद तीर्थ मराठवाड़ा यूनिवर्सिटी नांदेड़ He has more than 13 years of teaching, uh, learning uh, experience in PG level. He is a specialization in genetics and molecular biology, plant biotechnology, uh, infectious disease diseases. Uh, his research is focused on understanding cellular and molecular basis of survival and virulence of Candida albicans under diverse micro environment. he has designing and teaching laboratory courses of molecular biology and genetic uh, engineering cloning and transport uh, transformation expression analysis next generation sequencing etc cell biology uh, microscopy light fluorescence uh, acm tem and uh, facts for cell cycle regulation and proteomics uh, he has developed and offer a credit four credit course on bio bio farming and molecular medicine um, his first area of research is uh, plant biotechnology biology of candida albicans and natural product a research publication uh, having scopus 10 web of science 10 conference proceeding 1 which is a citation is a 325 uh, in the google scholar he has a 430 uh, citation Uh, he guided the six research student who was awarded three registered uh, and uh, mphil and award, awarded the two he has uh, many honors and awards received uh, he is uh, nominated for shanti swarup bhatnagar prize in 2019 awarded raman fellowship for post doctoral research in usa 2014-15 and uh, uh, he is a first raman fellowship Uh, of this university that is uh, swami ramanand tirtha marathwada university uh, is a csr SR, srf in this university 2004 2006 research pro project ongoing project is you uh, said usa and um, dir ac bharat india is a 65 lakh completed project is in uh, 2015 16 raman fellowship washington state university pulmang usa um 2012 to, uh, to 2015 sir bian scientist came a uh, 2010 to 13 ugc major research project 2011 to 2012 ugc minor research project 2012 to 16 bst inspire fellowship uh, and uh, he is also uh, patent field international one uh, one international patent field uh, in his name so this is a brief uh, introduction Uh, about uh, the dr gajanand zure sir is a uh, another distinguished speaker of uh, in the session 2 uh, and his talk on topic patent filing i welcome sir and uh, request to put your view uh, on the patent filing Okay, am I audible now? Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Okay. So, first of all, I would like to thank the organizing team, uh, our trained uh, Dr. Rankham sir, and all his colleagues for providing this opportunity to share my views uh, before all the uh, dignitaries, all the people uh, joined over here in this national. Uh, Uh, program uh, topic assigned to me is patent filing so uh, everyone knows patent has become uh, very important nowadays we haven't given much importance to the patent and filing the patents in uh, earlier decades and that is the reason we lagging behind in separate in different areas and in this presentation i will uh, talk about the procedure 
how to file a patent what is patent we'll start with the what is patent and then we'll go ahead and then we'll see how these patents are filed in india we'll focus on india india specific patent but i would like to talk more about because this is a procedural part right so you can get that information about filing how to file a patent you can uh hire an attorney and he will do it for you right with with not much amount he will charge very least uh, amount and then you will get that patent your uh, invention filed as a patent so i i won't give much importance or much focus on that particular procedural part rather i would like to focus more on uh the significance of this patenting significance of this technologies and how these patents and how these technologies are contributing in growth stories of the nation and the societies so many times we see the economies are growing so all over the world there is a boom in the economies so economies they are having very tough competition they are they are growing they are going very faster and uh, we have to see what are the reasons what are the engines contributing to that growth stories so some of the countries like india our economy is booming it is increasing but then when we look at into the details of that particular growth story so economy of india is growing as a country but the economy of the indians it is not growing in that proportion so you may you may take it as a paradoxical but i will i will tell you in the details why i made this statement and i will justify my statements so yes i will talk in brief about the procedure of patent filing and then i will talk more about the growth stories and significance of these patents and technologies in growth stories of these economies worldwide so once again thank you uh, organizing team we'll start with uh, what is patent it is a statutory right to the inventor or the applicant by the government for his invention right and uh, is either a new process or product it is for the limited period of time it is granted in lieu of sufficient disclosure to the patent office it is only territorial right it means it cannot if you find a patent in india it will not be protected outside the country it is a negative right so under certain circumstances this patent is not going to be uh, what we can say subjective for example if uh, it is required by government right if it is required for importation or manufacturing by on behalf of the government uh, experimental purpose research purpose teaching purpose or for example uh, current situation like covid so under such circumstances the patent uh, 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 having so what 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 does this uh, this patent do so these patents will allow you to prevent other party or third party without your authorization for making or manufacturing using your technology or right offering for sale selling importing distributing or licensing so that way through this patenting you will get that right and based on that right you can prevent other people for using that particular technology or product for commercial purpose so what are the things that can be patented any article apparatus machinery right or a component any substance whether living or non living right product or pharmaceutical product so these are some of the products right you can patent in addition to that there are processes that can be patented so what what are the things that can be patented what we need right to file a patent for for your uh, this thing
like okay Yes. So, what are the patentable subject matter? What are the things, right, that can be patented? So, and invention is the first and prerequisite. for any product process right to be patented so invention invention what are the invention those invention that relates to a process or product right to be new that should be novel it should involve effective step right it should be scalable or it should be having industrial applications and it should not fall under the section 3 and 4 where uh, government has listed some of the items that cannot be patented new means invention must not be published right anywhere in the prior public knowledge or prior public uh, 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 this thing uh, i'm saying this uh, and before uh, it is claimed right uh, any Uh, by any any party or anybody inventive step a feature of an invention that involves technical advance or uh, we say uh, having so what we call it as a invention that will provide you some advantages or advances over the existing knowledge it should have uh, some uh, economic advantages or economic significance that should be cost effective than the existing process or product and it makes this invention not obvious right to a person or skill in the art industrial application means it should be capable of being made or used in any kind of industry now so these things that we were talking about so these are some of the things that can be patented we have seen how uh, these uh, things this technology or these processes or product can be patented what is the significance of these patents as i said we will be talking more about the role of these patents in the growth stories of the countries or nation and growth stories of the society so yes we were talking about the startup everybody knows that startup india movement started and the startup movement helping or contributing to indian economy and we are expecting more such startups come up and uh, uh, become part of this indian growth story but then what is the startup and how this uh, uh, is going to contribute to indian economy so let us look at the present status of indian economy or what are the sectors that is contributing to indian economy so if you look at into the details right major sector that is contributing to indian economy that is services followed by industry and then uh, lastly it is agriculture and it is not only agriculture it is agriculture and allied areas like fisheries and forestry that is contributing nearly 20% in our indian gdp so you must be wondering why i am showing this slide we are talking about the patent i will justify why i am showing this slide it is because we have been heard we we are means since from our uh, this thing right teenage we we heard always that indian economy is agri based and i hope everyone must have heard right have anybody heard that ki indian economy is agri based i hope everyone 
because that is the pop most popular myth of our indian indian economy and what is our indian agriculture is contributing in our gdp what is the percentage it is nearly 20% and based on this 20% contribution we say our economy is agri based is it true what do you think and why is it so why we are calling our indian our economy is agri based this is a myth and it is not myth i will tell you why it is called as agri based because at the time of when when we got independence at that time contribution of indian agriculture in indian gdp was around 66% right and that was the reason our indian economy was considered as agri based but since from the independence right that sector was supposed to grow along with the growth of our economy right but that is not what has happened and why it was important because more than 60% more than 60 to 65% population is dependent on agri or agri related allied businesses and almost 60 to 70% population is dependent on agriculture sector and this 60 to 70% population is contributing nearly 20% today in our gdp why only 30% population is capable or is contributing to the uh, more than 70% or almost 80% in our indian economy and that is the reason why what is the reason reason uh, behind this difference i hope you can understand this uh, presentation right this graph you can see we will just i'm just trying to correlate the uh, our economy right gdp with the gdp per capita so it is merely 2000 dollar annual right compared to 66000 dollar us 45000 dollar in uk and uh, sorry canada right and then 57000 dollar in australia so and 126000 dollar in luxembourg that is the largest per capita income in the world and you can see this european and american countries their per capita gdp is correlating with their gdp so uh my my point of view was that as on today our economy is ranked around fourth or fifth position in the uh, global level right we, we are becoming almost a trillion economy a trillion economy right so what we are dreaming of we are trying to make the five trillion economy so हेलो okay so i continue all right so yes, yes yeah so this is the situation where our this gdp right is standing at i think it is on the fifth position at the global level right after 
UK, right, and size of our economy and GDP is around 2.62 uh, trillion dollar, and we are dreaming of making our economy a five trillion dollar economy uh, by 2025 or, or 2030. So, what does it mean, and how we can reach to that particular goal, right, and why other just uh, other economy they are growing and uh, uh, they are they are progressing better than our economy one yes. example i like to cite yes. is yes. Right. Yes. so this is the uh, example of some of the uh, what we can say innovative most innovative companies right you can see at the top it is apple google amazon microsoft tesla samsung ibm all these companies they are innovation based companies right and these companies are making those countries or economy of those countries innovation or technology based economies you can see these companies are belonging to those countries. For example, most of these uh, companies are belonging to USA, followed by some of these are like uh, Samsung and uh, these things from Korea, Japan, and so the European countries. And the significance why why we are talking about all these companies is because these companies are innovation innovate, innovation based companies. They are the uh, we can say technology-based companies and how these companies, innovation-based companies, contribute to the economy of that country. So you can look at this particular uh, economy of the Korea, South Korea, right? And look at the contribution of these technology-based companies like Samsung, Hyundai, right? LG, right? Technology or innovation based companies are contributing more than 50% to the GDP of South. Hope, hope you are getting what, what I would like to, what I am trying to explain. So, this is the significance of technologies, this is the significance of innovations, right? And that's how these innovations or technologies can boost up economy of that particular country. So we have seen this, South Korea is also a developing country like India, and you see how they are progressing. It is because they have focused more on innovations, they have focused more on technologies, they have supported all these industries, right? And that is the reason their economy is growing very well. In spite of very limited resources, when we talk about resources, let us compare with the resources available in the US and in India. So, as we say, India is an agri based economy, and uh, compared to USA, right, USA has got more than seven fold more uh, agriculture and, and uh, you know, what we can say, uh, water for the agriculture than India. Right, seven fold more, and in addition, they have more than three fold less population compared to India, and still they are not boasting on those resources available. Right, their economy is not based on agriculture, in spite of having all those privileges, natural resources with that. Their economy is based on the innovations. And you can have a look at these particular uh, companies. So, trillion dollar club, you can see. So, there are uh, only uh, seven, right? Sorry, six companies that have reached a trillion dollar, uh, what we can say, um, uh, club, right? So, out of this, uh, six and this four, five, 
uh, 11 companies, top performing companies, you can see only three are from <coughs> USA and rest of all the companies, they are from, from USA, like Apple, Microsoft, right? Alphabet, Amazon, Facebook, Tesla, right? Berkshire, Visa, all these companies, right? Except this Saudi Aramco, right? At the third position, most of these companies are based on technologies and innovations. And that is the reason these companies are uh, making or contributing to those particular countries right, significantly, making those economies better. So this is the reason we need to focus on innovations and technology. And that's where we are lacking. So, as I said, as USA had more than seven fold more resources for agriculture, they are still not focusing on agriculture for their economic growth. They are focusing on innovations and technology. So they are inviting people from all over the world, right? Right? Brainy people, intellectuals, right? From all over the world, providing them all the facilities and making use of those brains for the technologies and for the innovations because they understood the significance of this technology in the growth story of those nations and those societies. For example, you see how many people, how many Indians they got Nobel Prize was they got outside India, right? So that will that itself will tell us where is the problem. Another point I would like to tell you is that uh, you can see these are the 10 uh, uh, richest people on the planet and most of them right, are belonging to the technology based or innovation based companies. So Elon Musk who was almost at the uh, uh, position of bankruptcy but because of the Tesla he again came back and then has become the richest person uh, uh, in uh, recent years. So what makes these people or these economies uh, become richer? You can see, have you seen these things? This is called terms of service. And you can see there are different companies, right? Like from Facebook, Microsoft, Google, right? Instagram, so all these even Zoom and all these platforms, we are using all these uh, softwares and all these uh, you know, products we are using today. It has got these many terms of uses. Nobody has read any of these terms. We have never read any term. But what is the significance of these terms? So all these terms are protecting rights of this particular Innovation, innovations of this particular company, and that's how they are uh, preventing use of their technologies by third party. So, in addition to that, you might have heard about there are recently there are different battles, patent battles have been fought between different institutes. The popular story of that particular patent battle between Broad Institute and Berkeley Institute. So uh, Berkeley University. So that was regarding CRISPR-Cas9 technology. So this CRISPR technology, genome editing technology was patented by both these two of these institutes, Broad Institute in USA and then B Berkeley University. So that still it is that fight is going on and uh, it is based on their innovation. So has invented how to edit a genome or another, another person make that application for the eukaryotic that's how that war is going on. So I hope you understood the significance of this innovation and these technologies. Now, even if you make those innovations, even if you develop these technologies, and unless you protect, also I have shown you the terms of use of this particular mm -hmm. those products of different companies. So it signifies that even if you have innovation, even if you have technology, if you are not 
protecting it if you are not protecting it through a patent it can be exploited it can be used by somebody and that's how you will not have any right right you will not be able to build an industry or you will not be able to commercialize it at the scale you are supposed to right there is a fierce battle between apple and samsung both these companies are making smartphones right and then apple made that samsung to pay millions of dollars right for infringing their patent for the smartphone technology so there are different stories so my point of uh, my, what i wanted to tell you is that this is the significance of patent unless you patent unless you file a patent and get the patent right your technologies your product will not have any significance because it can be uh, uh, taken away by anybody it can be used by anybody and that's how you will not be able to build on that particular technology and the story right same story happened with the seed industries you know there are many seed industries all over the world so they are developing new varieties they are developing new tech for uh, crop improvement but there are no uh, such uh, regulations like patents available right in the seed industry and that is the reason first year some some of the industries they are investing a lot right in developing new varieties new crop varieties and once they release that variety in a couple of year other companies they are stealing their technologies and they are developing their own uh, crop varieties and that is what is happening and that's why most of the seed industries they have given up on the r and d activities and that's how the uh, bad side because of uh, this there, there are no protecting the crop varieties these crop varieties being exploited by other companies and that's how the company who is investing on developing those crop varieties is not getting the return as for their investment so investment in terms of both time money and then resources right so they are not getting any return because if it would have been patented they would have got those rights and then they would have got earning for their innovation but that is not what is happening so these are some of the stories so as i said ki this is the significance of protecting your technologies and your products right for your commercial application and building your uh, new uh, this thing uh, enterprise based on your innovation it need to be protected through patent and this is the need of time because we are talking about startup india right and we are expecting this startup movement should contribute in indian growth stories and there are many uh, this thing right uh, even our president is boasting on that ki our economy should reach to the 5 trillion dollar by 2025 and we are looking at not on the agriculture sector or industry or even uh, service they are focusing more on these technologies and innovation and that's why they are supporting that that's why they have developed different policies they have different uh, support system they have now there is a uh, very good uh, what we can say support system available in the country for startup in the form of incubation centers all over the country and through this incubation center government is trying to uh, create the the startup ecosystem in every every city in every every educational institution so that whatever innovations whatever technologies are being developed in the universities in colleges these innovations these technologies need to be patented and not just that not we don't need to stop at the patenting this innovation need to be supported for converting those innovations and technology into in enterprises in the form of startup so government is providing all the support for this uh, uh, what we can say technologies 
convert those technologies into the startup and finally the enterprises so innovations we were talking about these innovations and all these technologies and all these startup so every i hope everyone knows startup and main prerequisite for startup is innovation so you need to have an innovation and not just innovation that innovation need to be protected in the form of patents why we have why why we are lagging behind this patenting process of patenting why we haven't uh, given much importance to this particular uh, ask and is it new whether we have started this patenting or this process in recent years no it is not this you can see the history of indian patent system so we have this particular in place right long before independence during the british era also we have this facility we have this system available but we never focused on that aspect and we just started recently right and popular battle of that turmeric right and the turmeric battle people got uh, aware about this particular uh, patents and significance of this patent and after that uh, but we can say turmeric battle people have started thinking seriously about the patenting and protecting their technologies and their product thanks to dr mashalkar because he has uh, what we can say rejuvenated or reinvented this process in india so uh, these are some of the things another uh, what we can say paradox i would like to tell you is that why there is no indian company in the top 10 or top 50 innovation based companies right we have seen there are different companies uh, i think we i have shown you the list of these companies uh, here you can see that there is no indian name right in the top in a top list companies and paradoxically you will see that out of the Top ten companies like Alphabet, Microsoft, IBM. Most of these companies are Indian. Bora bora. Yeah, companies are CEO for that. Indian. So where is the problem? When Indian minds, Indian brains are leading the top. Uh, innovation based companies in the world why there is no any indian not a single indian company in the top 50 innovation based companies isn't it a paradox why we are lagging them it is not a fault of our intellectual power we we are not lagging behind in the intellects right apan buddhi ji bhakti madhe mage nahi ho ब्रेन पॉवर मध्य अपन मगे नहीं हो सो वॉट इज लैकिंग इट वॉज दट वी कैन से कंडूसिव एनवाट फॉर दीज टाइप ऑफ कंपनीज दैट वॉज रिक्वायर इन द कंट्री दैट वॉज नेवर एवर क्रिएटेड राइट दैट इज द रीजन मोस्ट ऑफ दीज बेस्ट ब्रेन्स आर गोइंग आउट ऑफ द कंट्री and they are using their brains and contributing to the economies of these uh, what we can say developed countries through leading the top most uh, innovation based companies like uh, google uh, this microsoft nokia right you can see these all these companies are led by indian brains right and still we are not able to form a single google facebook right 
or WhatsApp like startup uh, company in India. Though most of these startups or most of these companies are led by Indian brains, isn't it? It is because we were negligent, we were ignorant about protecting our technologies, protecting our product, protecting our processes and resources, right? Through this patent. And that's why most of our these technologies, resources, right? Uh, exploited by these multinational companies. They have patented those technologies in their name and they are getting benefits of those technologies. And it is not only the technology, you can see day-to-day -day products we are using in our life, right from close up, Colgate, right? Toothbrush, toothpaste, to all the products we are using in our day-to-day -day life. All these are coming from the multinational companies and these multinational companies, they are earning based on the, uh, these, their rights. So they have, they have protected all these innovations or uh, what we say, uh, technologies and that's how they are reaping benefits of those particular uh, protection or uh, these patterns. So I hope you understood. I just, my point of view was just to make you people aware of uh, the significance of this patenting. So because when we are talking about patents, filing a patent, right? So we must know why we are doing that, why we should. And unless we know the significance of anything, right? There is no point in doing that particular thing. Sir, apne la patents a significance might not say, right? Sir, matte file ka karavo, tas tas na ho jaye, and that's what has happened. We were never aware about the significance or impact of this patenting, and we recently has got the significance of this particular patenting when we look at the uh, different companies, right? Innovation-based companies, they are growing and they are making businesses. For example, you know, there are different uh, companies like, uh, uh, what is that company which books hotels, right? Uh, what is it, Oyo, Oyo, Oyo hotels, right? They don't have a single hotel all over the world, right? Oyo rooms or something. There are, there are different uh, these such platforms or like platforms, they are booking hotel for you. They don't own a single hotel. Another thing, you got this Ola and Uber, they don't own a single four-wheeler, they don't own a single car, right? But they are booking a car all over the world for you. And this is called innovation. That, that's how they have entered in that market and that's how the technology that has, uh, what we can say, invaded the market, right? And that's how they are ruling the world. They are making progress, they are growing. And fortunately, there are some of the companies, right? Indian companies like Flipkart and there are many other like Baiju's, right? There are some of the startup in recent years, they are growing very fast, right? Baiju has become the unicorn company of the India. And there are more than uh, almost 40, almost 40 startups has got the status, status of unicorn company. Unicorn company is the company which has got a revenue of 100, uh, right, billion, uh, 1 billion dollar revenue, right? And that company is called, that startup is called unicorn company. And fortunately, through the startup India movement, some of these companies, some of the startup has reached that to that particular stage and many more startups are marching ahead towards the status of unicorn. And then 1 billion, 10 billion, like Dika, uh, Dika Power 9, they are, they are using different terms based on the revenue of those particular startups there. So this is the good sign in recent years, because of the Startup India movement, uh, people have started using their innovations, their technologies for building their own startup, building their own companies. And some of those companies, 
it is not that key hundred percent startups will end up in uh, the uh, enterprise but majority of those startups right they are doing good and they are entering into the world market and that's how these uh, small small innovative ideas and technologies are providing both the uh, what we can say employment for those people and then also contributing to the growth story of indian economy and thanks to the movement through which these different incubation centers everywhere all over the country even in tier three cities government and private companies are starting these incubation centers where startups are being supported for all these activities right from uh, filing the patent and to the commercialization of their product so all these facilities are provided provided at the incubation center and that is the reason there are uh, new new startups entering into the unicorn club and uh, more startups are coming more startup ideas are uh, now being supported and that's how they are uh, trying to they are they are generating revenue that's how they are contributing to the indian growth story so this is what i just wanted to give a message to all of you people how these technologies and innovations are significant not just in uh, this uh, software right like we were talking about google and facebook and all these things so it is not contributing to the social media these technologies are needed everywhere right agriculture services right to industries manufacturing everywhere we need innovations everywhere we need newer technologies that's how we can uh, reduce the human efforts cost and time required for that particular product and process and that's how we can uh, make this uh, uh, life easier by this through these innovations so uh hope, hope, hope you got the uh, significance of patenting and significance of these innovations and technologies in the growth stories right so i will just run you through some of the slides right that can tell you how these patents can be filed so process of patenting uh how we can file a patent you can see this slide right we need to uh, have that uh, idea right we need to finalize your idea or your innovations right and then you can file that patent either through physically or through electronically at the office right indian patent office there are different offices available right chennai mumbai delhi and kolkata so you can file a patent to any of this office based on your uh, territorial jurisdiction what are the procedure what is the procedure for obtaining a patent right uh, can see this second slide you have to fill up some of the forms right there are legal information and technical information you need to provide legal information about the person right who owns that particular technology or innovation and technical information is about your innovation that you need to submit uh, in the patent office where they will you can see patent application that they will publish it right pre grant the opposition examination and after all this Thing, right once your patent is they found that it is not it is a novel right it is a uh, novel innovation it is a new it has a industrial application it is a scalable right then it can grant that ipo can grant uh, the patent right and once it is granted it will be published and then post grant opposition right so can see steps to get a patent okay can see that you can file a patent application where to file a patent application how to file a patent application these are some of the steps so what are the documents required so you can see there are different forms right where you can give the details 
who can file a patent the applicant can be filed either alone or in a group right by any person claiming to be true right so person who is owning that particular innovation and technology you can file or on your behalf if you assign someone to file patent on your behalf he can file a patent for you what are the things we need you need all those details about your innovation right you need to specify right you should have preamble right prior art drawbacks right in prior art you need to justify how your innovation or your technology is superior or advanced than the existing uh, existing one right okay procedure filing of application at the patent office request for examination publication examination pre grant opposition and these are some of the steps patent grant in india so you need to conceptualize your innovation or your technologies once you finalize your concept right right you can file a an application right providing a uh, provisional specification in case your this concept is not fully uh, what we can say uh, confirm that's what we did when we file our us provisional patent we file a patent for increasing the grain number in wheat and what we found was that we we found a process through which we have increased grain number in wheat so i hope i will, I will just talk uh, two minutes about that particular invention so what we did was we were working on uh, these wheat and what we found was that particular uh, spike of wheat right uh, i hope everyone has seen the spike ombi bagitle ase sagani gavachi right gavachi ombi asle kashi so jaka spike rate astat the spike rate mode eka spike rate mode sadharanpane 3 te 4 grain tumhala milta right ani tumhala jawal pas eka side na wheat dusra side na 21 asa किंवा एकोणीस वीस अशा प्रकारे त्या स्पाईक मध्ये असतात सो साधारणपणे चाळीस बेचाळीस स्पाईक लेट मध्ये तुम्हाला चार ते पाच ग्रेन मिळतात राईट सो चार ते पाच म्हटलं तर किती होते मग चाळीस उघडेले पाच सो साधारणपणे दोनशे ग्रेन तुम्हाला एका उंबी मध्ये मिळू शकतो अँड जर आय होप यू यू मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर फ्रॉम बायोलॉजी बॅकग्राऊंड सो बायोलॉजी मध्ये सगळ्यांनी त्या स्ट्रक्चर बघितलं असेल तर जी स्पाईक लेटची जी ग्रोथ असते ती डिटर्मिनेट आहे की त्या पर्टिक्युलर तीन स्पाईक लेटच्या नंतर ती पुढे वाढत असते त्याची ग्रोथ तिथे स्टंट होते थांबते ड्युरिंग अवर स्टडी वॉट वी फाउंड वॉज दॅट वी कन्वर्टेड दॅट डिटर्मिनेट ग्रोथ ऑफ दॅट स्पाईक लेट इन डिटर्मिनेट सो जी डिटर्मिनेट ग्रोथ होती त्याला आम्ही इनडिटर्मिनेट केलं म्हणजे ज्याची ग्रोथ त्या स्पाईक लेटची ग्रोथ थांबायची ती ग्रोथ तिथे ना थांबता ती कंटिन्युअसली वाढत गेली आणि एका स्पाईक लेट मध्ये जिथे तुम्हाला तीन ते चार ग्रेन मिळायचे तिथे आम्हाला एका स्पाईक लेट मध्ये ऑलमोस्ट पंधरा ग्रेन मिळाले फिफ्टीन ग्रेन वी गॉट इन दी वन स्पाईक लेट नाव इफ यू कॅल्क्युलेट फिफ्टीन इंटू फॉर्टी स्पाईक लेट राईट सो दॅट मच डिफरन्स राईट ऑलमोस्ट थ्री टू फोर फोल्ड more grains we got through this particular technology and that's why we filed a provisional us patent for that particular technology claiming that a procedure or a process for increasing grain number in wheat so that is called provisional uh, application so that you can have your what we can say date you can protect your technology before anybody claims that is called as provisional application of provisional specifications and once you get once you are confirmed that your technology or your innovation is working then you can file a patent with complete specification complete details right and then that will be public and then you will get the grant of opposition then it will be examination and once it examine you will be issued a patent and that's how the further processes are going on so some of the important timelines so filing a complete specification following provisional specification it need almost 12 months within 12 months you need to file a 
complete patent, right? After provisional patent, the statement and understanding regarding foreign applications, right? You need to within six months you need to uh, file an application. Request for examination for eight months, eight months from the date of filing of uh, or priority uh, date. You, you can claim that declaration of inventorship for uh, time for replying to the examination report. Right? Then pre-grant opposition, post-grant opposition, a reference to deposit uh, deposition of biological material and furnishing information related to working. These are some of the timelines it is given. What is not patented? There are inventions falling within the scope of section, those, as I mentioned, right? as per the Patents Act 1970, inventions falling within the scope of those section, right? subsection 20 of atomic energy, like those inventions relating to compounds like radioactive uh, elements. There are many other, like any process of material. Sorry. Can, you can just uh, see that slide. Uh, plants and animals in whole or any part of thereof other than the microorganisms, including seeds, varieties, and species. And these are not patentable. And that's why I told you that is the reason these seed industries are facing a lot of problems. They are not able to protect their technologies and their innovations because of these uh, uh, regulations by government. So, process of patenting. Uh, I think uh, I'm at the end of my slides and I hope uh, you, you got uh, some, uh, some information about the significance of patents and uh, significance right, uh, in uh, respect to the contribution of this patent in the uh, growth stories of particular nations and story. Another point I wanted, I have missed that, as I said, the, we are at the peak, right? When we are talking about the size of economy right? at the global level. But when we talk about the per capita GDP, right? We are at the bottom, right? So that is the paradox. So our economy, right, is booming, it is growing, but our G per capita is not increasing. So as I said, ki only 20%. So economy of those 20% is increasing while those almost 60 to 70% people who is dependent on agriculture, their economy has gone back from 66% to 20%. So yes, we need to look seriously into this particular aspect and we have to make our economy, right, uh, in, inclusive, and it is not the economy of only industrialist, right? Only for your ten percent people that is growing. We need to make this uh, economy of our Indian citizen to increase. Because when you talk about the economies, U.S. and European countries, you will see their per capita income is correlating with their GDP size. But that is not what, what happening in India our per capita income is not correlating with the economy or GDP of our country. So yes, we need to work on that in that aspect also. So thank you very much. Uh, once again, thank you, uh, Rankam sir and uh, Atul Kumar sir for providing me this opportunity. I am thankful to the management uh, of uh, the college and of this organizing team for providing me this opportunity. And most importantly, Thanks to all the audience for patiently listening to my uh, this uh, story. I hope you enjoyed it. And if not, please pardon me for wasting your time. Thank you. Thank you, one and all. Uh, yes, uh, for your uh, such a beautiful lecture and informative uh, lecture on the patent filing. Sir, uh, one question from our mentor. Yes. Uh, of our college, of my college, uh, Sri Shivaji Rao Razade, ask one question for you. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Tate, you can ask. Um, yeah, my, my, unmute this, you. this will go off. I will be, uh, uh, right, uh, audible, right? So, yes. right? Yes. Uh, 
आय हर्ड डॉक्टर जोरे व्हेरी नाईसली प्रेझेंटेड लेक्चर आणि अँड दिस ओल टेक्नॉलॉजी बेस इनोव्हेटिव्ह कंपनीज आर दी बेसिक्स ऑफ बेसिक ड्रायव्हर्स ऑफ दिस फाय ट्रिलियन इकॉनॉमी अँड लेट अस होप वी ॲट द एज्युकेशनल इन्स्टिट्यूट कॅन प्रमोट दिस अँड थँक यू फॉर एव्हरीथिंग thank you sir thank you very much and what i will suggest you you should start innovation club right uh, at your colleges so that these people who are having new ideas they can come to, together and discuss about their ideas and you can identify some of the people interested right among the faculties uh, our rankam sir i think i know him he always uh, supports student with new ideas and then bring them for avishkar and different competition so why can't those people or make club at your college where all these new ideas can be discussed and such ideas can be brought to the incubation center where incubation centers will take care of those ideas support those student right uh, convert their ideas into enterprise so i think that will be a good idea and that will be a good support because we don't know everything about these enterprises right so we will have we, we are usually having some ideas and we don't know how to Uh, build on those ideas so we can just bring those ideas to the incubation center where those ideas can be groomed and then converted into enterprises so i think that will be a good idea for all these colleges who are really interested in doing uh, or supporting these new startups and developing startup ecosystem in the colleges thank you sir thank you we'll definitely uh, do something Thank you, sir. So I will be very happy, more than happy in any of these things. So in case you need some help about this incubation center or uh, any startup related thing, I'll be very happy to support. I would like to mention that we wrote a proposal. We got the incubation center at the SRTM University as like uh, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Maratwa University also has got the incubation center. And all these universities has got those incubation center where the startup ideas are going to be supported we are welcoming such ideas so that uh, these uh, people can be supported uh, at the government level so whatever uh, uh, difficulties they face for converting their ideas into the enterprise we will be very happy to help them yes yes uh, thank you uh, shivajar or adil sir uh, uh, another question from mukundraj patil sir uh, yes you just ask the question uh good afternoon sir good afternoon bola sir sir i have one question regarding copyright okay uh, sup- uh suppose uh, there is a violation of copyright uh, where uh, we can claim uh, copyright uh, or uh, where we can file copyright issue uh, and how we, uh, what is the procedure regarding filing the cro- uh, copyright violation okay i think indian patent office also has this uh, provision for this copyright protection also so there is a separate procedure for copyright like technology we protect through patent other like literature and other things we protect is through copyright right so yes. there are there are different uh, i think there are provisions uh, i will send you the details if you need regarding copyright if you have any such issues i will also suggest some of the people who can help you in uh, uh, protecting your copyrights yes sir yes sir okay. okay sir thank you thank you thank you uh thank you patil sir uh, for your questions uh, now uh, yes uh, if uh, if uh, no question more then i will uh, request uh, the plenary session uh, second chairperson uh, principal dr sk tupe sir uh, 
प्रिंसिपल कालिका देवी आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज शिरूर का सर डिस्ट्रिक्ट बीड टू पुट द सेशन रिमार्क ऑफ सेशन टू डॉक्टर संजय तुके सर ओके सर एम आई ऑडिबल यस सर यस सर यू आर ऑडिबल ओके सर थैंक यू गुड नून टू एवरीबडी and warm welcome on behalf of our organizing committee which is working under the memorandum of understanding made by the department of zoology of the late ramesh varpurkar art commerce and science college sonpet district parbani affiliated to swami ramanand tirth marathwada university nanded kalika devi arts commerce and science college shirur kasar taluka shirur kasar district bid affiliated to dr baba saheb ambedkar marathwada university aurangabad and dada patel rajale arts commerce and science college adinath nagar taluka patradi district ahmed nagar affiliated to savitri bai phule pune university pune i hope there is no need to say more details these colleges are from three different universities and district when more than one person comes together and working under the same agenda at that time definitely we get the better results and proper achievements i am also thankful to our honorable secretaries jayadatanna kshirsagar who is the former minister of maharashtra state uh, sri parmeshwar kadam and sri appa saheb rajale kaka former mla who gives us the permission for to perform this memorandum of understanding and opportunity to work together today national webinar on scientific research writing and patent filing is one of the excellent subject for the researchers it's our pleasure to the acceptance for the to the acceptance of our invitations is healthily accepted by the today's eminent personalities in their subjects today inaugural address given by professor g k kulkarni i think today's conveners are his ex students he mentioned proudly at the beginning and he expressed his valuable thoughts in this in this webinar and provide the remarkable energy to we participants thanks sir in plenary session first professor vandana hivrale from biochemistry department of dr baba saheb ambedkar marathwada university aurangabad she had explained in very good manner how to write the paper starts from abstract introduction uh, experimentation material method theory calculations graphs discussions conclusion and references as well she focused on the writing skills of the paper as per the various journals instructions by using the graphical abstract how we can show our paper in short respected ma'am also explained in details about the impact factor thanks ma'am in session remarks uh, uh, the session remarks are uh, given by respected principal dr v d satpute in his speech he had put forth his valuable remarks and guidelines to the researchers teachers and participants thanks sir in plenary session second dr gajanan b jhore focused on a uh, patent filing he had explained the importance of patent in detail specially he had focused on the agri based economy of india in details and its comparison with the other countries and sector wise gdp of we indians according to him we researchers should be focused on research innovations and creative ideas their inventions help our country to achieve the goal of 5 trillion economy in 2025 he also remarked that we indians are superior in brain but in our country we can't get the opportunity it's drawback of our country but nowadays startup india program gives the chance 
to improve and in, to improve and inventions of new ideas in it he explained in detail how to file the patent patent grant in india some important timelines of about the patents what is the patentable what is not patentable etc sir really yours as well all the lectures in today's webinar are valuable and milestone for the researchers thank you sir last but not least i am thankful to the my energetic and dynamic friends those who are the convener of today's webinar and head of the department of zoology in their college dr santosh rankham dr tanvir pathan and dr atul sor pagar these persons had took the efforts for the success of this webinar we should learn what is the coordination and its results from these three personalities thank you all and once again all the participants resource persons and the principal dr r j temkar sir finally i think this webinar has got the grand success thank you uh, thank you principal dr tupe sir for your uh, energetic words uh, about the conference and uh, uh, really is a wonderful uh, kind word for us uh, having uh, organize another uh, workshop or any program in future also uh, thank you okay, uh, sir all the best yes thank you gajanand hore sir for a wonderful session and chairperson of this session dr tupe sir uh, now with the uh, with the permission of the chair i request uh, some participant uh, from the uh, countries uh, to give the feedback first of all i request dr sunil khade pusad uh, yavatmal to give the feedback about the conference about the sorry uh, webinar dr sunil thank you khade. so much thank you so much dr atul sor pagar sir as concern the feedback of today's national webinar the first lecture given by dr vandana <clears throat> hivrali ma'am professor and head department of biotechnology dr baba saheb ambedkar marathwada university aurangabad she focused on very interesting topic that is scientific research writing which is very essential part for the researcher or beginner who are the beginner who want to enter in the research field so how to search paper how to write paper how to uh, write even though abstract how to write authors how to search even though how to search and how to write and how to put in perfect format of scientific research paper or ideal research paper she explained very nicely over here in the national webinar second research person was there dr gajanan zore sir director mdcrl covid 19 test srt university nanded uh sir has focused on uh, again very essential topic that is the how to file the patent whatever we discovered whatever we search void whatever we uh, done the research which is very essential for us or very essential to researchers so how to protect that patent how to save that our work valuable work sir explain very nicely and sir also told how to save that step by step what is the procedure of patent again very essential thing uh, sir told that whatever we discovered one things so until and unless we patent that whatever we done hard work and achieve that so it will be na- not come easily so that is the best solution patent and why we have to patent the whatever work is done by my, by ourselves so patent is very good choice and very essential 
even though in uh, our country uh, we have very broad mind and vast area for research but even though we are little bit hesitate to put in the format of perfect in the scientific language or scientific frame so that's why sir and ma'am told or focused or given information informative information to all the researchers so today's national webinar on scientific research writing and pattern filing uh very informative was for all researchers and participants so i would like to thank you very much to uh, dr yasvi rankham sir late ramesh varpurkar college art commerce science and uh, sonpet district parbhani again second convener of this webinar this that uh, tanvir pathan sir head department of zoology uh, kalika devi art commerce and science college shirur district bid and uh, very uh, intelligent person that is uh, dr atul kumar saurpagar head department of zoology uh, he always used to take such kind of uh, intellectual intellectual properties program and uh, very impressive work he has done till today uh, so thank you very much for giving me chance over here to uh, feedback over here thank you so much uh, thank you dr sunil khale sir now uh, uh, dr zaida zainab nizambad telangana if she is uh, here uh, she can put uh, their view about webinar dr zaida zainab nizamabad telangana okay uh, now dr rahul pandit if nahi dikha raha dr rahul pandit yes uh, shailendra vikram singh sir yes singh sir if you wish to okay dr rahul pandit okay uh, if uh, from the audience if you give your remark about the uh, uh, this webinar you can raise your hand otherwise i conclude this session okay uh, thank you very much uh, for your patient listening uh, before concluding the session i request everyone to uh, uh, start your video so that we can we can we can have some snap uh, about this webinar so request all audience uh, which uh, who are in the meeting to start yes <coughs> Uh, from uh, starting near about uh, 100 participant uh, till till now are participating and uh, actively participate and uh, put their time to yes sir uh, thank you very much uh, audience uh, now uh, with the permission of the chair i dr atul saurpagar uh, give a vote of thanks uh, to all all dignitaries so uh, this program is uh, under the mou organized under the memorandum of understanding between department of zoology of late ramesh varpudkar arts commerce and science college sonpet district parbhani affiliated to swami ramanand tirtha marathwada university uh, nande another college department of zoology kalika devi arts commerce science college shirur kasar district bid affiliated to dr baba saheb ambedkar marathwada university uh, aurangabad 
and uh, Dada Patil Razade Arts, Science and Commerce College, Adhinath Nagar, Taluka Pathardi, District Ahmed Nagar, affiliated to Savitri Bhai Phule, Pune University, Pune. And uh, we hope uh, we are trying to this uh, program scheduled about uh, the about the national uh, scientific research writing and patent filing. I uh, hope you enjoy the session. So I thankful to our our patron, Honorable Sri Parmeshwar Kadam sir, President Hanuman. Uh, Shikshan Prasarag Mandal Sompet, Honorable Sri Jayanta Tanna Shirsagar, uh, Secretary Adarsh Shikshan Samastha Bid, and Honorable Sri Appa Sahib Razade, uh, Kaka, President Dada Pati Razade Shikshan Samastha Adhinat Nagar for, uh, for their support for this, uh, for the, for this, uh, conducting the webinar and the MOU. Also, I am thankful to Honorable Sri Shivaji Rao Razade, Chairperson, College Development Committee, uh, Honorable Monika Tair Raju Razade, uh, MLA, Patradi Shaugao Constitution, uh, Principals of Principal and Chiefs Organizing Secretary, uh, Dr. Vidhi Sakpude Sir, Dr. S.K. Tupe Sir, and Dr. R.J. Temkar Sir. And also, I am thankful to uh, Professor G K Kulkarni sir, for uh, for Vice President All India Zoological Society of India, Bodh Gaya, for accepting uh, accepting and or, uh, inaugurate these sessions. And uh, today's uh, resource persons, the Professor Dr. Vandana Hivrali, ma'am, uh, she is uh, talking on the scientific research writing. Thank you for uh, thank you, ma'am, for your uh, such a wonderful session uh, about scientific research writing, and hope audience can uh, understand about the scientific research writing. Uh, another uh, speaker, Dr. Gajanan Zhore sir, uh, will talk uh, on patent filing, which is also uh, important, and uh, hope all participant can uh, having the doubt about the patent filing and uh, related. Uh, the uh, what we can say the uh, IPR about the patent filing. Thank you very much, sir, uh, Dr. Gajanan Zore, sir. Now also I am thankful to all uh, IQC coordinators from the three colleges, all science faculty, convener uh, Dr. Santosh Rankham, sir, head Department of Zoology, uh, Dr. Uh, Tanvir Padhan, sir, Department of head Department of Zoology. Uh, I thank you ah, all and. Um, and I thankful to all participants from, uh, from all over the countries. And uh, I really uh, thankful to all and uh, inform to all that near about 350 participants can register this webinar. And uh, I, from this, uh, uh, due to this participation, uh, hope this webinar uh, is a grand success. Uh, and uh, I request to uh, fill up the uh, fill up the feedback link so you uh, you received the uh, e certificate thank you very much with the permission of the chair i conclude this uh, session and uh, hope you enjoy thank you very much sir okay thank you thank you very much sir yes sir thank you sir thank you atul thank you thank you Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank you. Uh, yes, you can again meeting. Yes, yeah. sir.